Dan at Sugar Tree Run here. Today we're going to show you how to flush the RO after running sap through the machine. So when you're all done and you've run out of sap to concentrate and you've run everything basically dry, you want to back off this needle valve all the way open and let everything pump through until you just have air coming out of, of the exit. Then you're going to turn the whole machine off. You're going to open up your filter canister. You're going to take out the filter that was in there for your sap. You're going to replace it with a uh, filter that's just for flushing that only has the permeate that's going to come back through the system. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then you're going to um, take your, your intake and that goes into your pump over on the other side of the RO. That's going to get dropped into your permeate container your, or your tank. Uh, and that's going to be your inlet. And you're going to use that permeate uh, to flush the RO membrane. Okay, so we're going to keep that needle valve all the way open, and we're going to run about 10 gallons of fresh permeate through the filter and the RO to rinse that sugar and anything else off of that membrane and keep it pretty clean. So uh, we're in the process here. This is actually our second uh, five gallons coming through now, so it's filling that up. We're just about done. And when you're all done, you're just going to turn the machine off, pull, uh, actually pull the exit or the inlet tube out and let the system pump dry and then shut the machine off and then you can take that flush filter out and store that for uh, another use in your refrigerator and maybe a gallon ziplock bag. Okay, so that's the basics of flushing the RO after use. Again, uh, thanks for stopping by Sugar Tree Run. Please be sure to like our videos and subscribe to our channel.